and Facebook. We are going live tonight with what sold in the last 24 hours. It's like a game. It's like a what game show? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm going to get people in here on TikTok and we will go ahead, get some people funneled in and then uh, talk about what we sold. So if you have any questions, go ahead, come on in and ask them. Um, so right now, as of the beginning of the live stream, which is a little bit less than 24 hours, we have 13 items sold. So 13 items sold. Hopefully we will get more. We're, yeah, we are packing. Uh, hopefully we will get more by the end of the stream because we did 14 two days ago, 14 yesterday, 13 today. Woo, going down a little bit, but hopefully we'll get more. I'm also waiting for a couple of people to pay. But let's get some people in here. Hope you guys are having some good sales. I don't know if you notice anything different in here. Surf's up. Peyton Manning. Hawaii, all good things, all good things. So welcome in, welcome in. All right. So what's up, co-host? Yeah, it's you. What's up, everybody? All right. Say hi if you are on YouTube or Facebook. I see some eyes. I want to make sure my restream's working. What's up, Angie? Or Angel, what's up, Angel? What's up, Christmas 65? The light, right? I know. A fan got that for me. Um, we're gonna go over some stuff. What's up, Broski? Cast not. What's up? What's up, Brian? Uh, hi from YouTube. What's up, YouTube? That's where I started everything, watching, learning. All right, so we're gonna go over 13 orders, 13 orders that we did. We'll go ahead and get started. Welcome in. Welcome in. Actually, first, how is everyone's uh what's up, Lindley? Uh what's how's everyone's day today? Sales good, bad. I know yesterday people said some sales were bad. Um I, I took down my one percent better, but did you list one more thing today? I did. Yesterday was my birthday, having a great week. Birthday week. How come it's always the females? It's like it's my birthday week, it's my birthday month. Might as well as be your birthday quarter or birthday year. But happy birthday and happy birthday week. So um, happy birthday. For me, I'm like, I don't want to celebrate my birthday because I don't want to be any older. You know what I mean? No sales this week. Lindley, that's okay. Um, keep listing. Again, it's common. Um, it's common for this time of year. You've heard all the resellers talk about it. This time of year, summer slowdown, right? So it'll be summer slowdown. It's just... That time. I don't have any flannels I'm selling. I don't have any jeans I'm selling right now. Like, I haven't sold a pair of jeans or flannels in a long time. I don't even remember last time. So, two, two sold today. No Lululemon shirt tonight? I know. Someone said that last night. And the funny thing is, this one talks about drinking. Like, uh, make your last call count. And I don't even drink alcohol. I just thrifted this. So, a lot of my night shirts, I've actually thrifted. So, sold $10 duck clock today. Hey, did you make a profit, Mike? That's all that matters. Um, 511 Tactical. Toner cartridge on the... Toner cartridges sell like that. That's probably the best sale. And if you sell them, I, I swear I get emails all the time on my like regular email account that people are wanting them. Like whatever company I sold it to, they want more. They want more. They want more. Eight bucks profit. That's good. That's that's two shirts. Mike, that's two shirts. And stuff you get, I see it. What's up, Pendleton? 1233. I like that name, Pendleton. So, um, no, and no Lululemon shirt tonight. No Lululemon shirt. But we'll go into the sales. You guys are here to see what I sold, so you can keep your eye out, keep on the lookout for. This first item, I've never picked one of these up before, but I know the brand. Obviously, Mountain Hardware is a really good brand. Um, just a backpack. And I actually think you you put a um, like a camel back in here. I was going to say in back here in the back of the backpack. So I think you put a camel back, but it's definitely for hiking. It has the waist it has all that. So thanks for the heart me's or whatever. So thanks for coming in guys to everyone. Thanks for being in here, but this sold for 3596 hashtag auto posture. So you're going to hear me talk about auto posture often. So auto posture sale on that 3566. I didn't pay. I don't pay more than, usually around six or six dollars ish for those that might have even been in one of my little like videos i'm not sure um but 
I'll just send that out. One of these free boxes that are shoe boxes, even though I put a backpack in, it doesn't matter as long as it fits. It's priority. You have to ship it priority. It's not a regional. It's not a flat rate. It's just a priority box. So as long as you're shipping priority, that's what matters with this box. Um, yo, what's up, rese reseller nostalgia? I'm gonna get that taped up. As you know, I'm a three inch dude. Don't take that literally. My tape's three inches. Quit it. All right, making sure it's going to the right person. Nicholas, it is. So 13 items. And I know some, Mike, I know you were here last night. There, there are going to be, I think, two things here that we, we're going to talk about. Actually, one thing that we talked about yesterday. Um, the only pair of pants I sold were golf pants. So golf pants sell year-round for me. As you know, my favorite pair of golf pants or shorts are the Under Armour. Um, the Under Armour, they call these uh, match play. So these are called match play. $23.99 for the shorts and the pants. Can take pictures and list them super quick because I sell them all the time. Look at the size on these. I couldn't ask for a better size. 36, 34. It does not get any better than that. Uh, Auto Pusher should pay you for advertising them. Um, they you get a like a like a credit um, if people sign up with Surf's Up Finds. I get like a little credit, but I don't really care. They, if, I'm happy to say the Auto Pusher works great because it does. So. I'm just glad that it's around doing this for so long to have auto posture now, like on my team, <laughs> even though it's not really an assistant. Uh, I don't even have to pay insurance for her or him or bot or whatever it is. But yeah, you're right. It's the first two inches that counts. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> it's the motion in the ocean. What are you talking about? Uh, Brad, guess what? What's up, Trisha? How you like that, Trisha? In your face. Oh, gosh. She's going to probably say she sold some Alan Flusser. I know she's going to. Anyways, that sold for $23.99. They always do. Always do. Uh, nostalgia. Yeah, nice. Uh, help me, Autoposture Ambassador today. Offer to help me get Ambassador Day. Nice. I'm telling you, Autoposture is awesome. That wasn't an Autoposture sale, but the first one was. We, we can keep track tonight. So one to one. One to one. Um, howdy, Arizona Pickens listed coach bags yesterday, sold one today. That's awesome. I'm scared to list coach. I've always been scared to list those types of things because there's so many motion in the ocean. That's right. College reseller. Um, I'm scared to sell that stuff because I don't want it to be counterfeited. I'm glad you sold it. I'm glad you did. You probably know what you're doing. I don't, I've, I've held a lot of that stuff with doing uh, house sales and estate sales, but it scares me. Um, earmuffs, Ethan. Yeah, earmuffs. Earmuffs. I sold an Alan Flusser shirt today. It's a fake sale, everybody. It's a fake sale. It's a fake sale. No, I'm just kidding. Good job. I've been looking for Paisley print Alan Flusser. So the joke is, if you guys don't know this, it's, it's kind of a joke. One of my early, early videos, it was, these are brands I do not pick up. And one of them is Alan Flusser, because I don't pick that brand up. And then Trisha, um, over here on the Tiki Talkies, is like, She's told me like eight times how many she sold Alan Flusser. Like every t time she sells one, she sells one like once per week, but it's allowed print or whatever. And I eat my words. I eat my words. Alan Flusser sells if it's a loud print. So I eat my words. Uh, as I tell my wife, I beg your pardon, Trisha. I beg your pardon. These are men's seersucker, Polo Ralph Lauren red. Auto posture, two to one. Auto posture is winning. 1770 something 1770 something um if you only sell what did it say you only sell on ebay would auto posture list everything on poshmark uh if you only if i only what's up carolyn if i only sell on ebay would auto posture list everything on poshmark uh no so are you talking about if you just have ebay and you got auto posture would it all transfer over to Poshmark? That would be a cross-lister if I'm getting that right. Um, you'd have to get a, a cross-lister for that, like um, List Perfectly or Vindu or, or two that people use that I know of. I sold to Brian, by the way. Auto Posture's winning two to one against me. So just for the records. Just for the records. What's that, Kelsey? 
Um, it's Big Surf and Bird. That's right. I should put my Larry Bird up here for you, Big Apple Picker. Can you spell your Bulls T-shirt? Bulls T-shirt. Oh, I haven't. I haven't listed it yet. Somebody asked for it for sale. I think. Yes, I have that Bulls T-shirt. It's freaking sweet. Um, it's never been worn. I couldn't believe it. It's so crispy and clean, like it's just legit crazy. But anyways, that sold for 17 something. You know I like picking up Seersucker. Seersucker, Brooks Brothers, Seersucker, Puller Ralph Lauren. Seersucker Blazers, even if they're like Jose Banks. Um, have you thought about making a video about organizing and making a more user-friendly store? I never have because I don't feel, honestly, I have no idea about Autoposher or, or Mercari or any of those. I just know about eBay. I feel like my store isn't as important as what you think it is. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, a spirit sell nowadays? I don't think so. <laughs> no. no, it does not. Unfortunately, a spirit does not sell. But eBay, people are looking for a specific item. For example, an Aaron Rodgers jersey, New York Jets. They're looking for that jersey. They're not going to go to your store and see if you have that jersey. They're just going to look at that jersey. So I don't think an actual storefront is that important. In fact, my storefront on my eBay was not cool or anything at all until this year. When I decided to do social media, I'm like, I better like walk my talk and make my store look better. So, search up. Um. I have a 1993 new with tags Bulls t-shirt. How much would you price it at? You're going to have to look up comps, Meg. There's probably one identical to it online. What's up, Reisner? Um, probably one identical to it online. Hey, Red Heart Face, what's up? Um, have a few Nike dunks. Not sure if they are real. How do you handle that? Mike, there is a an app for that. Go on YouTube and check it out. There's an app for that. I don't sell Jordans and dunks for that reason because of the fakes again, but there's an app where you can literally take pictures of it and send it in and they'll send you back and tell you if it's fake or not. Is so, a college reseller in here? He's probably yeah, college reseller. What is that? What's up, Tokyo? Um, Tokyo and I, once once upon a time, weren't alive together. Or storefronts don't matter at all. Tokyo's been selling on eBay. Storefronts don't matter at all. I don't think so either. So I don't, don't stress about a storefront. It's not a big deal. Um, hopefully I'm reading everything right. Also, here is another one. I don't know if you were here maybe a couple weeks ago or whatever, but uh, a couple weeks ago, last week, this is a Callaway new with tags. So check out that that pattern on there. That's why I got that with that big hat pattern, that big hit. This was actually a um, Marshall's discount, whatever, super yellow tag sale. So I got this for $10. I bought five of them. This is the second one that sold in a week. And it sold for thirty-two twenty-two. So ten into thirty-two twenty-two, I win two to two versus Auto Posher. Um, that's a really good return. So um, retail arbitrage can be good if you know what you're looking for. Callaway is not a really good brand, but because that print sold it, in my opinion, and I got it for ten bucks, new with tags. If it was just white or blue, I wouldn't have picked it up. So size on the Callaways, they're XL. So all I have are XL left on those Callaway uh, polos. And that sold. I want to make sure it's going to the right person. As you guys know, I pick out all my items before. And I get them off my uh, Bluetooth printer. Bluetooth printer. My label maker printer majigger. Um, what's up, Giselle? If they don't sell, do you return them to the store? I don't. No. Good question. So no. For example... Here's a pair of, um, these are actually a pair of, of shorts that I've sold many times used, Fair Harbor. And so I've, I got these for $12 or $10, um, a few of them, and they're um, swimsuits. I got quite a few of these. I'm just actually going to hold on to these until next year. I know I'm still doing spring and summer, but I'm really not going to do any bathing suits right now. Um, I'd rather get like my linen shirts listed and stuff like that. So I'm going to hold on to these. But no, you can return them. If you want to, um, if I had a budget of like two hundred dollars and I spent one hundred and fifty there, and I was trying to get those sales in that thirty days, heck yeah, I'd probably return that stuff. Where do you have your sign made above the door? Um, a fan made that for me. A fan made that for me. Just kidding, I bought it myself. I don't even know the website, but I was so excited. I'm like, you know what? 
I'm going to get this. I'm going to show people where I work. And then I'm going to have a sign made that says surf's up. And I did that. Um, let me see. I can only see the ceiling texture on East Coast. What's that? I think he means like that ceiling texture is on homes in the East Coast. Oh, up here? Yeah, it's in the Midwest too. It's not popcorn ceiling. My old house had popcorn ceiling. Um, we just sold one of these last night or the night before. Sunspell. So Sunspell um, is a good brand. So what happened was, what happened was last week, I think I found this shirt with everyone on live and people were like, oh, that's a good brand. Get it, get it, get it. Well, I already actually had one in my store. It sold last night and I listed this last week and it sold. So it's just funny how those things go. So Sunspell is the name of that brand. They're super buttery soft, buttery, buttery soft. Uh, and that sold for $22.88. What is that? I'm ahead, right? Of auto posture now. It's pretty sad that I have to keep track now. Usually she gives me like, or he or bot, whatever it is, gives me like two or three sales. It's been getting me a lot because I bumped it up to 8% discount on my offers. So 8% on all my offers. Uh, and so I'm just trying to get rid of some of this and I'm running a sale on all my Under Armour and Peter Millar. So don't at me when you see some of these polo prices that I'm selling them at here in a few minutes. Don't at me. Um, how do you tell the difference between men and women's Lulu pants? Women will have a size number. So a two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Men's will have a small, medium, large um, on them. Or they'll have 30, 32, 34, 36 if they're like a dress pant. But if they are like a, a pant, like a short, like a workout shorter pant, Small, medium, large, extra large. So numbers compared to uh, that. Do you use the same printer that's listed in your link? Um, I actually don't use the print. Do I use the same printer? No. So my thermal printer is a Dymo 4XL. They don't sell it anymore. I bought that, geez, before the pandemic. And they don't sell it anymore. The new Dymos, they make you buy their special cartridges and it's more expensive. Um, so I listed one that is very popular, has a good, lot of good feedback, and it's cheap. So I always tell people, if you're going to invest in a thermal printer, you know, get one that has good reviews and maybe don't go all in on it. And I know people that have this one, and, and they've had it for years, the one that I have linked to my link tree. Um, what was the question? Can you only run sales if you have an eBay storefront? I believe yes. I believe that's the case. I love your video, videos. I love learning so much. I appreciate that. Um, I like to put more up. I really like those challenge videos. They're fun for me during the day because I can't go to one store and get everything. You guys know that. I go to lots of different stores. So I like to like a challenge. I'll start the day with the challenge. Like the one day was thrifting versus bins or challenge, you know, how many stores can I go to? How much can I make? Those are fun to me. Um, let's talk about this real quick. So last night, remember if you were on, I was talking about lotting up polos. Well, I listed these yesterday morning. We talked about them last night and they sold today. So here's a lot of six. I sold them for $75. Non auto posher. Me, me sale. So those sold for $75. So six, 75 divided by six is much easier for me just to do that. I, and my photos look like this. I'll show you real quick. Um, these are, this is all I, I literally all I do, I put multicolor. I don't put any measurements. All I do is put multicolor and the six in the description, in the title description. So there's my cover photo. Looks like that. And then that. And then I just list one and I measure one. And then I just list each one on top of that like that. I do not get fancy at all when I list lots. That's how long that took me to list. So super easy, super quick. So that, that's how I listed that lot. That was $30 into $75 pretty quick. So I could have done them separately, but I decided to do it a lot. You said last month you didn't uh, like to lot polos. I might have said that, but no, I've always done one or the other. Um, like just a couple of days ago, we talked about the loudmouth polos I lotted. Uh, just the pins. Just depends how I feel. Like right now, I wanted to get rid of these because spring and summer's coming. Hey, thanks for all the roses and bears. 
be like that AI person. You know, like, that's crazy. I can't believe people do that all day long. They're pretty good at it, too. I'm going to be honest. Some of those people I watch, no wonder there's 2,000 people in there watching because I'm, like, mesmerized. I don't, Big E, I don't know how to do, I don't know TikTok. I don't know the TikTok thing. But, yeah, those sold for 75 bucks. Um, Sometimes I, people ask me, like, how do you decide if you lot or not? It just, honestly, it depends if I'm in the mood. We talked about the 5.11 the other day. If they're the same size, same shirt sometimes it's just worth a lot it to me sometimes it's not also like end of the season yeah end of the season if it's a really nice polo like a psycho bunny i'm not gonna lot that uh just making sure it's going to the right person all right i like the source of sign thanks arizona picking i like it too i put it up today um howdy daryl what's up over on youtube thanks for joining um how much shipping on that woof uh, they paid, I have no idea. They paid, uh, 1405 to ship on that 1405. So 1405 is how much they paid to ship this next item. I've lit. This is an auto posture sale. Even though it's 2188, I did listen at that price. I do 88 often. Check these bad boys out. Gold's gym. You know, someone's going to be working out and these, they're like, they feel like uh, like you'd go swimming with Shamu. What what do you call those body suits? Yeah, like they're like scuba suits. Yeah, they're like a scuba scuba gear. Anyways, I've had to list them for probably three years. No joke, three years, guarantee it. Uh, twenty one eighty eight. So that's gonna be like four shirts, four shirts. Um, what brand blazers should I be on the lookout for? Oh my gosh, Woo. a ton. But it all depends. Your latest YouTube video was on point. I enjoyed that one a lot. Luke, appreciate it. I'm going to do more like that because I like challenges. It makes my day more fun. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I cannot. I should do a whole, maybe tomorrow. Like I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a haul. What I might do is just pre record that. And then at eight o'clock, I'll come on and just talk about blazers. I don't know if you guys want me to do that or not, but I do know a lot about blazers and, it's not equal. Like the other day, there was a gold button Burberry blazer. I left it behind because the arms were super short. It, it just all depends with blazers, but usually really high end ones. Zegna, whatever you say it. Nice Brooks Brothers, uh, Laura Piani, anything like that. Stuff made with Laura Piani. Uh, show how to pack blazers, please. So if I pretend this was a blazer, if this is a blazer, what I do is I fold it like this with the arms and I cross it and then I roll the blazer. So that's how I um, pack my blazers. I pack them rolled like this. Um, I feel like the military does that. I feel like when we go on vacations a lot of time, I'll pack a lot of my dress shirts and blazers like this. That's how I will pack them. That way they don't get wrinkled. They're, they're rolled. Any tips on uh, learning the right brands to pick up? Yes. Follow, follow my channel. Follow me. Come live thrifting with me. Look at all the stuff like this tonight. You're learning right now. Peter Millar, Summer Comfort with Grumpy. It brings more money than regular Peter Millar. Peter Millar, Summer Grumpy, Summer Comfort with Dopey. Lindley says she wants to learn blazers. Okay. Well, somebody just asked, like, what was your biggest Disney flip? Speaking of Grumpy. Oh, busy. check this out. You guys know I have everything at my fingertips in here, right? I have everything on my fingertips. Look at this vintage Epcot hat or whatever this is. Oh, visor. Visor. <laughs> How cool is that vintage Epcot? It's legit vintage. It's not made. It's like, not. that's not a new tag. And that, that is so cool. I don't know. I'm a huge Disney nut, so maybe it's not cool to you guys. Best Disney sale? I really don't know. Yeah. Disney unless it's like yeah polo. their spirit jerseys are really good so bolo spirit jerseys how do you pack yeah um do you keep your clothing in bins uh do you need a big space yeah so i have all my clothing in bins like this they're all in bins like this in my basement i have 80 ish down here i had to expand into the room next door i have two uh big thing uh big cases cabinets that have shoes in them too so you, you have to have quite a bit of space if you're going to do it full time are paul stewart blazers good 
I, I've never picked up a Paul Stewart blazer. The comps and Celtic rate aren't great on those. Again, there's always an exception to everything. There might be a Paul Stewart with pure cashmere, Laura Piana blend to it. So, how much did that Peter go for? Uh, this Peter Millar in my hand mm -hmm. went for twenty four twenty. Auto Pusher gets to win on that one. Twenty four twenty. Maybe not Auto Pusher. Again, I'm running a twenty percent off sale on all my Peter Millar and all my Under Armour because they are not selling like they used to. Uh, what is uh, what is your highest best hat sale? Man, I don't sell a lot of hats. Daryl, I don't sell a ton of hats, to be honest. Um, actually, I don't sell that many hats at all. So maybe 25 bucks or something. Not a lot of hats uh, on my end. Making sure that's going to the right person, it is. Uh, let me see, make sure. Would you pay $200 for a Ralph Lauren built bare knit sweater? I'm seeing comps around $500 to $700. So with Ralph Lauren bare knit, knit sweaters i remember when they became hot again they started reproducing them again so they started making them the retro ones again so i would want to check the og ones the ones from the 90s bring the most money and they'll say like hand knitted on them hand knit on them um, but the newer ones will not sell for as much so you want to make sure it is an older one um so what polos are selling nowadays robox uh daryl I'll get to you. Um, Robock and G4. I'll show you G4. Actually, I have a Robock too, but this is G4. So G4 is a good one to be on the lookout for. G4, Robock, um, Holderness and Born, any of those, any of the new golfer brands. Go into a pro golf store and look at the most expensive polos in there. Those will do well. Peter Millar with loud prints still do well. Today, I actually bought a foot joy, even though I said I'm backing off of foot joys because it had a loud print. Um, all this working in the heat last couple of weeks makes me want to get a full time reselling. I know, I know it. I mean, it took a while, and it's not easy, guys. Look, what's it's 10 40 at night. I'm still working, but I, I like what I'm doing. I love it. Um, good to know I don't have a way to check before bidding. Yes, yes, don't, don't, don't. I wouldn't buy that. All. You're going to be spending, you're going to have to pay taxes on it and then shipping. And then you're not going to be for sure if it has any flaws. If you're looking to resell it, I'm not sure if it's for your personal use, then maybe get it. So here's some Peter Millar shorts, just size 34, regular cotton twill shorts. I buy these, surf up them. $17.99 is what I, uh, is what I sell them for. $17.99. That was my price. You're welcome, by the way. Uh, Amy C. It's time to resell. No. What's up? Uh, I thought you were saying Roblox. I'm obviously a mom. You know what? My kid plays Roblox too. I'm a dad. Uh, that's what he plays with his cousin all the time. And they came out with, uh, they went public in the stock market last year, or the year before, and they just went whoo, like way up and then it came way down with everything else. But it was funny. When Roblox came out, everyone was all about it. Um, Crystal, thank you for the sale. Um, K-Way. There's a K-Way. Everyone say hi, K-Way. Say hi, Peyton. Hi, K-Way. So here are some Olakai sandals. Olakai sandals. I just thrifted these last week if you were with me. I think we only paid... $1.99 or $2.99 for these. They're not even written on them. $1.99 or $2.99. They're leather. Thanks for the gummy bears. You owe me Galaxy, but I'll that's okay. I'll take those. Um, these are good sandals to sell. $32.88. Anytime I get these, they always price these down super cheap. So they price these down super cheap. I pick them up. Two bucks and a 32. You cannot do better than that. Hey, what's up, Line Creek? Good whatnot tonight, by the way. Um you know, I don't do whatnot, but I see you guys on TikTok doing it, and uh, you got you got it down. You're smooth. Smooth. All right. So those sold to Ronald. Uh, Lindley says, hi, K-Way from YouTube. Lindley says, hi, K-Way from YouTube. <laughs> there you go. He gave me some hot dog with, with ketchup and mustard. Appreciate that. Um, you're welcome. Hey, thanks, Kelsey. 
I'm going to sit here and do all the TikTok. I, I literally want to do the TikTok things because I've been watching them. Stop it. Stop it. Let me let me pack some stuff. All right. Under Armour, Notre Dame. I wish I could have set my sale different, not have put this in there because I know this would have sold for around 20 but whatever. It sold for $15.92 um, because I'm running that 20% off discount, and maybe Autoposture did it too. I don't know. Someone was smart. They got the Autoposture and the discount. They got both. Um, you would do great on whatnot. I know. I just don't want to. It's not my thing right now. Everyone's kind of doing it, and I'm letting everyone do their thing. And I've got some other thing as other things I'm working on too. So I'm cheering everyone on from the sidelines. I'm cheering everyone on from the sidelines. I love watching it. It's really cool. To watch. So uh, that sold for nothing. Fifteen something. Amanda says all the cool kids are here. All the cool kids are here. What's up, Amanda? You are in here. Amanda, I'm glad you are. If you weren't here, it wouldn't be cool, though. Um, why does your prices have cents instead of just round dollars? So most of them do. Most of them have 99 cents or 88. You know, that's how everywhere prices, 1999, you know, everywhere. Um, but since I have auto posture, I give 8% off to anyone that watches my item. So anytime I have a sale... Like that last one, fifteen ninety two. I know that's an auto posture sale. So this one is not. I I do price things at twenty two for some reason. So this one thirty two twenty two. These are probably one of my favorite shorts to pick up. Peter Millar um, shorts. Uh, Kway and I are always team shorts and pants over polos. So shorts and pants over polos. If I could buy Peter Millar shorts and pants, I buy them all day long over polo shirts. These sold for 32.22. Size 34. I think you should seriously try one. You and Shelby. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I'm not Trust me, I've talked I talked I could It would be embarrassing for It would be embarrassing for you guys to watch me. It'd be embarrassing for you guys to be even a part of that. Um, let's see. All of mine in 77. See, Riser, all of her ends in 77. I don't know why. Just do like 2222 or 3222. It just, I don't know, it stands out. Or it's just quicker for me, right? Everything time in times money. It's easier to press the 22 than just to go up, press the 99. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know if figs makes men's? Yes, figs do make men's, Daryl. And if you find Figs Men's, uh, they sell really well, really, really well. So Figs Men's, um, and I'll know that tomorrow because I'll be going to my son's orthodontist and dentist appointment, and I'll be watching everyone wearing Figs. What size do men's? Uh, what size men's do you? What size do you recommend getting? Bigger the better, do best. But if it's a really good brand, it doesn't matter. So if it's a brand like this one I just talked about, G Four. If you can get it for five dollars, it does not matter at all. So if you can get a brand like G4 for five dollars, it doesn't matter. But for the most part, the bigger the better. If you get this brand in a 3XL, it will sell way better than just a medium. So bigger always sells better because they're harder to come by. Whoops. Last item that sold, 1560. A Duke. Peter Millar cotton. I do not pick up cotton Peter Millar polo shirts um, unless they have something about them. This one had a Duke symbol. That's the only reason I picked this up. I do not pick up Peter Millar cotton polo shirts unless it has something special like that. So 1560. And didn't didn't we sell one two nights ago? We sold one two. We packed one of these two nights ago. So I'm all out of Peter Millar Duke polos if you are looking for one. Um I feel like it gives the impression that you're saving money. Yeah, it does, right? Probably. I feel like it does too, right? You're saving you're saving money when you do 99. It's under that dollar mark, under that whatever, that whole whole number. Um, is it true? Uh, is it true that figs are getting pulled from Poshmark? Heard they are loud. True. I'm not sure because I'm going to sell on Poshmark. But Kelsey in here? She's a huge Poshmark. Yeah, Kelsey might know. She's in here. Um, she does a lot of Poshmark. Um, I don't do Poshmark, so I don't know. I know they sell on eBay still. Uh, what price would you sell new with tags, NFL, uh, Saquon Bartley, Giants jersey? Retails around $130. 
Oh man, I just actually bought a Travis Kelsey jersey, new with tags, uh, the other day, and the the comps were way less than what the retail price was. So the comps were like, like around sixty, and the retail price is one twenty. So you're just gonna have to look up comps, and I have a video on my YouTube to do that. I'll take you into your phone and do that. Um, do Nike polos with college show logos on them sell better than without? Yeah. So again, everything at my fingertips, right? So here is a Nike Florida State. So I think this will sell better than if this didn't have a Florida State on here. Um, but it has to be a, it has to be a well-known college. It has to be like an ACC, SEC, Big Ten college like that, Ivy League school. Those sell best. If it's just like a, a college that no one knows about, not many people know about, it won't do that very well. Um, I haven't heard that about figs. I have a few posted on Posh. So it sounds like they're still on there. So yeah, a few people are saying figs still sell on posh. So yeah, I appreciate all you guys being in here. Thanks for the follow. Um, again, I'm trying to do more, helping more people across more platforms. So I finally have like YouTube over here and Facebook and I'm posting everywhere. And during the day I try to post on Instagram and I want to do more and more. Yes, yes, we got our 14th sale. Sorry, we got our 14th sale. I wanted to get 14 today to match the last two days. We got our 14th sale guys. We're going to do that together. That's what sold. Actually, I don't want to show you the address. It's not going to show you the address. It's just some Vineyard Vines, kind of turdy shorts, to be honest. Uh, vineyard Vine shorts. I'll get them, pull them here in a second. But yeah, I'm posting on Instagram pictures of things throughout the day of like things I'm finding to be on the lookout for. I need to do a better job of that. But let's find those shorts. Do you have a YouTube video for shipping? What's up? Do you have a YouTube video for shipping? Yes, I have, I have a YouTube video for packaging, what packages to use in shipping. Yes, so... I only use really four di four types of items. So that those are what I'm looking for. I'll answer questions while I get them. If you have any. Okay, questions answered. So now you guys see how my bin system works, right? So I have all my, I don't have anything in any type of envelope or anything. I just have them in like category. So I knew these where these were. They were with the cotton chino shorts that have patterns on them and that pattern's not hard to find in the clear bin. So found those real quick and we're going to print out that sale real quick too. 1666, three sixes, not a good number to end on. Um, do you get a lot of repeat customers on eBay? Yes. eBay now for some reason, I don't know when they did it, but they updated it to repeat. you will show you if you have a repeat customer. Um, and I have gotten, I don't know. I guess I noticed it more lately. Not that many. Maybe like two sales out of 50, maybe. Something like that. Um, maybe you're not. It's all positive vibes, dude. Surf's up, dude. I love I love the beach. In fact, I was talking to my wife tonight. I don't know if you guys know, but like, that's a Hawaiian flag. And Hawaii, they're having some crazy wildfires. Just crazy stuff going on right now over there. I don't... It's, Wildfires in Hawaii, who would have thought? And like a hurricane thing too? I don't even know. But um Marlo said I'm one. Is she a repeat buyer? You're a repeat buyer? Thank you, Marlo. Don't buy from me though. I feel guilty. I'm not trying to sell stuff to you guys. Um Olivia said, was that a sell it now? Or buy it now? Yeah, that was a buy it now. Um awaiting shipment. The user said they found you through Kway. What's your YouTube channel? Um, YouTube channel is uh, surf's up fine. So I'm surf's up finds on, if you just go to my link tree, you'll see it on everything, but I'm surf's on fi up finds on everything. I do have a website, but there's nothing there yet. I just want to make sure I get the name. So purchase shipping label. Sorry guys. I'm just purchasing the label. I purchased all my labels through eBay. So, uh, that was 622, but I have buyer pay shipping on everything. So buyer pay shipping for everything that I sell and I do it all through eBay. The only things I don't ship through eBay are to people like personal type stuff or whatever. Like maybe that paint man in Jersey to K-Way or something. I'll just send that through pirate ship. Carla said, I love the man in Jersey. Um, Daryl, good question. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's when we won a Super Bowl. Yeah, so Colts have a Super Bowl, unlike the Titans. Titans don't have a Super Bowl. Um, Daryl over on YouTube asked, how many listings do you do a day or week? I've definitely cranked it up. So this week, 
we're back to normal. My wife's back to uh, teaching. My kids are back to school. So my schedule's back to its normal self. I literally, same thing every day. Drop my son off, drop my daughter off, drop the packages off the post office at eight. Then I literally sit in my car and listen to something and I list from my phone. I usually list between 12 to 15 to 17 items before nine. So eight to nine, I list about 12 to 15 items Monday through Friday, and then I'll do some at night and some on the weekends. So I'm trying to get like 70 to 100 listed per week, hopefully more. So where's Joel? I haven't seen him in the chats all day. I actually haven't been live all day. I don't even know if I went live at all today. I don't remember. So I haven't seen him either. Uh, my hubby is happy. He's loving Lululemon. Um, it's a process. Out with one and with Lululemon. I know. I'm guilty of it too. I taught PE and I'm like, I'm never spending money on Lululemon until I thrifted it and wore it. One time it was over. It's like an addiction now. Yeah, Daryl. Yeah, it just... When I first started, I, I listed everything I could as fast as I could, basically. Um, and you guys know how quick I list things. So I just so, showed you guys how I do all those Polo Ralph Lauren's. I don't go crazy with pictures. Um, let's see what I just sell with those shorts. So I don't put any measurements. What's up, Barry? I don't put any measurements in any of my description or item specifics or anything. My measurements are on in my photos. So here are my photos. And my measurements are right there. So that's, that's, those are my photos. I literally list my photos and the size and the color and my descriptions, the same for everything. I just copy and paste because it's my policies. That's it. But I need to get to bed first. You're so not first buried, but you are first. Month. Oh yeah. By the way, I appreciate your service buried. I really do. Gabrielle said you talked about your arts and painting sales. When will you share that stuff? Um, so I sold two paintings. Um, I mean, that's stuff that I don't really talk about. I don't mind talking about that stuff, but it's not going to help you guys out reselling. It just might be interesting to you guys. I'm an antique nerd, but during my reselling time, so I sold antiques before clothing. So I've had a store on, on on eBay since 2001, right? So I sold antiques and collectibles. I got started in high school. And along the way, when there would be really nice high-end stuff, I'd buy it knowing that it would just be an investment. So if I could get it for cheap. So I bought paintings, watches, collector memorabilia, even a car, whatever. So I have these paintings and these paintings, the collectors are getting older and there's only one guy I know right now that buys them cash. Otherwise, there's not a lot of people out there that still buy these certain paintings. So I'm like, you know what? I need to do it now and get the cash in my hands and put that towards the use. So that's what I did. Um, I'm the opposite. I tell how far apart the stripes are. Reisner, you're too detailed because you're a master seamstress. So what are you going to list that Bulls t-shirt for? Daryl? You know me, I'm going to probably auction that mug off at 99 cents and just let it ride. I paid two bucks for it. You need to clarify. People think you are an artist. Oh, I'm not an artist. <laughs> I'm definitely not an artist. You're an artist? No, definitely not an artist. My daughter's a better artist than me and she's four. Um, but I did I did paint my truck. You guys saw my truck. It looks all patinaed. That's my artwork. Um, but anyways, yeah. Very Hi, everyone. your sign. Oh, thanks, Barry. Uh, do you want to see my bathroom, my toilet, Shelby? No. She got mad at me last night, Barry. You weren't in here. Uh, she got mad at me for showing everyone my toilet. That that's So we bought this house foreclosed. The basement was the only thing that we didn't tear apart. They put a bathroom down here, and I just used it as my, uh, my storage for boxes and stuff like that. So we've seen it. Yeah, oh, they've seen uh, it, Shelby. Mirror your screen. Uh oh yeah, is it not mirrored? I thought I like permanently mirrored it. Sorry YouTube and Facebook, you guys are mirrored. Dang it, I don't know how to get this thing over. There we go. Oh is dang, look at all the likes and shares and everything. Thanks everybody. Is there a bidet? Mirror your camera. Is it not mirrored? Oh now it is. Whoa, yeah, it totally wasn't mirrored. There you go. 
Is there a bidet? No, I do not have a bidet. Um, how often do you go looking for stuff to sell? Daryl, I thrift every single day. And when I was a part-time reseller, side hustle, I would thrift every day on my way home from work. Would I not? Yeah. Every day on the way home. I would thrift like three or four stores on my way home from work. I was a teacher, so I got off at 3.30, so I had some time. And I didn't have kids at the time. Well, I just was having kids at the time. What would I do without my wife? I would probably like be in Vegas right now, like dating a ton of chicks or something. I don't know, doing something real fun. Just kidding. You'd be having rain stop every night. <laughs> Your laundry would never leave the dryer. Whatever. I have a few antiques to sell. Could you use some? Uh, could use some help? I think. Yeah, DM me uh, on Instagram. I can help you. I have a lot of history and knowledge with antiques. Stupid, stupid knowledge with antiques. Um, what's up, flipping nurse? Why every day? That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it sure is. Um, because I have to, I my stores like Kway goes to one store and can spend eight hundred dollars and be set for a week. I can't. Today, thank you for the heart me. I go in one or two stores and might find a, a few things or nothing. So you guys have been live thrifting with me before where we just hit the jackpot. And then other times it's like, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm turning this off because we found two things. So that's just how it is. So just kind of do a loop. Honestly, with I probably have within a 30 mile radius of my house, there are probably 15 thrift stores. That's no lie. 13 thrift stores. So cool, dude. Arizona, my guy. Um, how did you get? We're not talking about all this stuff. How do we meet? Not Daryl. Darren. Oh, Darren. Darren, there's a Daryl in here too. So over on YouTube, there's a Daryl and a Darren. So Darren, my bad. Um, so how did we meet? This is what happened, guys. I'm going to tell you a secret. I know y'all are probably out of college now, whatever. But what you do, you go to college in elementary education, okay? It's you, maybe two other guys, and then like a 100 girls. And if you are wanting to date a girl, that's what you got to do. You got to go into elementary education, and they just see you all the time. And then you can just make stupid, stupid jokes to them all the time. And try to act like you're cool, and you'll get one of them one day. So that's how I met her. I was in elementary education. Once I snagged her, I got out and went to physical education. It was all guys. So that was how that worked. Uh, when's the next live thrift? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to do them unless I feel like they're going to be worth your guys' time. I don't like wasting people's time. Um, but I do appreciate you guys being in here. Speaking of wasting your time, a few more questions. I don't want to waste any more time. Um <laughs> sometimes I get two things. Sometimes I get 30. Exactly. So pretty good resales. Sometimes I get two things. Sometimes I get 30. That's how the cookie crumbles where I live. That's just how it is. Um, so if I'm going by a, going to the post office, I'll hit the thrift store. I might get two things. I might get zero. I might get 10. You just never know. Um, surf's up dating method. You don't no. even want to know. Don't <laughs> even, don't even. So my roommate in college and I, we rode a longboard. Like I don't just, but like, I love the ocean. So I had a long board, like a long surfboard. And my buddy and I would both get on it. And we both worked at Hollister and we ride it, rode it through campus. And so my wife and all her friends thought I was gay, which I have, I have tons of gay friends. I don't care about any of that stuff. And I'm glad we're on together because we just got our 15th items. Um, pretty good resales. That is Joel, isn't it? But he doesn't have a space, so I don't remember. Oh, yeah. He's alive. He is alive. Pretty good resales. That's Joel. Joel, you change your logo. Uh, we move waste more time looking for you on here <laughs> all morning checking. Fine. I'll go live tomorrow morning. What time's the dentist appointment? Two. I can't forget. I got to take. That's the good thing about being a reseller. She doesn't have to take off work. I can go do the kid stuff. Um, but let's find these guests. So I just sold these guest shorts for $25. These do not sell as well as they used to. So $25 for those guest shorts. Ask me questions and my moderator will help me. Um, you give off the vibes of someone who used to work at Hollister. Stop. Guess where Brad works in college. <laughs> I said I worked at Hollister. Oh, I didn't know. I thought he was guessing. I didn't hear you. I think that. I said that. 
I did. I worked there in college. But listen, I'm not a frat boy. I did not join a fraternity. Everyone thinks I'm a fraternity guy. Let me get these shorts. But he did wear four popped collars at one time. He had to have been very sweaty under there. What was I? You always wore like multiple popped collars. And you would like flip them up. With so your I, pierced ears. So I have a I have a vintage bin and then I have a denim bin. So they're gonna be in the denim bin. But I did. I had two double pop collars, and that's how that went. How do I find you on eBay? Everything surfs up finds. Speaking of gay, again, I don't I have gay friends. I don't care. Love is love, whatever, but check these out. These are for buried. I thought these would sell right away, wouldn't you? 501 shorts with the rainbow stripe? They didn't. They haven't. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to look. Look at this. This thing should sell, too. This thing is sweet. I'm going to have to look that up. My store. All right. So, I'm going to look back over there. If not, there's one other spot. Uh, hey, Brad, have you not been doing morning lives? Dang it. I haven't been. I'm, I'm trying not to waste your guys' time. Why did I just keep looking where I thought they were? So these are vintage. So I have a bin with vintage items. I just have one bin with vintage items. And I have one bin with random denim items like I just showed you. They were with the vintage. So these guests, that's the vintage tag. Of course, they have the throwback now. So that's what these are. Um, love them. Maybe during Pride Month. I know, right? Um, I actually went to the Pride. So we had 15 sales? 15, 15. sales today. Woohoo. Um, I went to the Pride. Now we're going to profit label. I went to the Pride Parade in LA with my roommate from college. So my roommate from college what ended up going to LA to be a model. And he still lives out there. And we went to the um the Pride Parade because I was out there during that time and he's like Let's just go out to that. Sure. So we went out to that. I'm just printing this label real quick. Hashtag bring back the live thrifts. Oh my we gosh. Miss your thrifts. Oh, the dude hasn't paid yet. So he's going to be on hold. He hasn't paid. He just bought. Oh, yep. He just bought. Hasn't paid. Waiting payment. Okay, I'll live thrift tomorrow morning. I won't upset you guys. I'll live thrift, but it might be boring. This morning wasn't boring. If you saw my video, my short just I released tonight, that was this morning. Veronica Van Beard and Lululemon and all that stuff. What is it? Veronica Beard. Veronica Beard. What's your opinion on buying uh, buyer pay shipping? The factor that in the price. Yes. Yeah, so I've always done buyer pay shipping. That's a good question. Um, you just have to factor it in, whether you do free shipping or buyer paid shipping. I've always done buyer paid shipping. I've always priced my items lower in buyer paid shipping. Now the dude paid. So I can talk a little longer to you guys. I thought I had like instant payment. Thanks, Haru. You guys can leave if you want to. I totally get it. It's late. You're tired of looking at my face. You can look at my sign. I Listen, I'm pumped. I got that today. I've been waiting. I was so excited for that. I didn't even tell my wife about it. To like a couple days after I ordered it. I want to tell her that a fan got it for me. K-Way has fans paint him signs and stuff like that. Don't pay me signs. Um, Awaiting payment. Awaiting shipment. All right. So let's ship this one out. So the guy paid. He paid. Uh, he paid nine. That person paid. Uh, nine thirty-five for shipping, and it cost me seven something because I'm shipping through eBay, not at the post office. So what's up? Geez, these are going crazy. New a side that says pretty cool. Yeah, get it. I don't know this. I literally went on, literally went on, um, just Google and typed in like neon signs, and that came DHL from India. Had no idea, but it got here really quick. Is it neon or LED? I think it's LED, but it looks neon. I don't know. Why don't you go touch it and find out? Uh, okay. You need to hang a surfboard. I know. I have one. I have a skimboard. 
Which way your skimboard where your jersey is? Uh, Daryl. Could you totally see you? Um, could totally see you modeling clothes. No, get out. That was gosh, so long ago. Jeez, twenty years almost. Um, these are going out flat rate envelope. Um, yeah, I could put my skimboard over there where Peyton is. Put my skimboard over there. Tony, I have a love for the ocean and the beach. That's why I have a beach. Everyone, trust me, I go to car shows with my truck, which I'm not big into car shows, but I like going to them sometimes. And people were like, why do you have a beach truck in Indiana? It's because it's what I like. Take your iPad over there. Amanda said, take me over there. I do that. I do signs for a full-time job. I'll tell you what it is. Let's go. I'm almost positive it's LED. Uh, wow. Okay. So what I'll do, Amanda, is turn it off. And you can get a good look at it like that. Does that help? Or do you want it on? I think it's LED. Why don't you touch it and find out? It is. It's not hot. It's it's not hot. It's not hot. We're good. <laughs> We're good. So hold on, Shelby, real quick before I leave. Show them all the vibes. Huh? I want you guys to see all the vibes. What the heck? All the vibes. Check this out. How cool. Look at that. Lit up. I know I'm a nerd. All right. On that note, I'm out of here. I'll go live thrifting tomorrow, guys. I promise. Um, but if if there's not good stuff, I'm sorry. I don't want to bore you. But I appreciate you guys coming in. A little late live packing. 15 items. Thanks for coming here. You helped me sell two more. So appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, as always, just ask them in a YouTube video or ask them. I uh, DM me on Instagram or whatever. I'll be happy to help you guys out. I answer every question. So appreciate you. Happy thrifting, and thanks for the follows. Appreciate you guys. Bye. Been fun. Daryl and Darren, it has been fun. Thank you, both of you. Sorry if I was mixing your names, but very, very close, very closely spelled. So, all right, appreciate you guys. Have a good night.